Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? Wowza, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Ah, uh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Gone. Fly, you fool. I wonder how these birds died. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, 
Those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. 
I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Worst hacker ever. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. You totally froze the laptop. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But 
Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. 
I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs>